<laughs> a few hours drug free rise after the assassination attempt at Butler I got a call from a safe food advocate named Kelly Beans who's been fighting for many years to try to end the corruption at CDC and FDA and USDA These institutions, these regulatory agencies are actually run by the big food processing companies, the big ag and the chemical companies that they're supposed to regulate. And he said to me that he'd been advising me for many years and on my campaign. And he told me that night that he was also advising President Trump. And he asked if I would talk to President Trump. And I said, of course. And about a few minutes later, I got a call from the president and we talked, we had a very good talk. And then he invited me to come see him the next day. And I went to Minneapolis and saw him. We met again a couple of weeks later in Florida. And we talked about, not about the things that separate us because we don't agree on everything, but on the values and the issues that bind us together. And one of the issues that he talked about was having safe food and ending the chronic disease epidemic. Our children are now the unhealthiest, sickest children in the world. Don't you want healthy children? And don't you want the chemicals out of our food? And don't you want the regulatory agencies to be free from corporate corruption? And that's what President Trump told me that he wanted. He also told me that he wanted to end the grip of the neocons on U.S. foreign policy. that he didn't want any more 200 trillion, a $200 billion wars in Ukraine, that we could use that money back here in the United States. And the safest, the, the best way to build a safe America is to rebuild our industrial base and rebuild the middle class in this country. And don't you want a president who's going to get us out of the wars and who's going to rebuild the middle class in this country? And he told me that he wanted to end the censorship because the whole basis of American democracy is the free flow of information. And we know that a government that can silence its opponents has license for any kind of atrocity. And can you think of any time that you can look back in history and say that the people who were censoring were the good guys? They're always the bad guys because it's always the first step down that slippery slope to totalitarianism. And don't you want a president who's going to protect America's freedoms? Look at that proof, it's beautiful. And who is going to protect us against totalitarianism? <laughs> a safe environment for your children? Don't you, want to, don't you want to know that the food that you're feeding them is not filled with chemicals that are going to give them cancer and chronic disease? And don't you want a president 
that's going to make America healthy again. Thank you all very, very much, and God bless you, and God bless America.